Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 51 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So here I'm going to do an example of solving an absolute value inequality. So basically what we have here is we have some expression. We're taking the absolute value of that expression and then that has to be less than the number 2. So in the previous tutorial, lesson 50, um, I mentioned that if we had the uh, absolute value of some expression like this, and that was less than some number which we were calling n, then that means that the solution is negative n is less than whatever the expression was. In our case, our expression is 4x plus 6. And then the expression is less than positive n. So basically, our n equals 2 in this example right here that we're trying to solve. So we can just replace this solution with negative 2, since n is equal to 2 in our case, so n is 2, and that's going to be less than our expression. Our expression was 4x plus 6, so we're going to write 4x plus 6, and then that's going to be less than n, and n once again was 2. So this is basically how we're going to start the solution to this absolute value inequality. So now we're kind of just going to treat this like uh, just a normal algebra problem, and we're going to kind of think of these less than signs as simply just equal signs. So basically what we want to do when we're solving a normal algebraic problem is we're just going to try to get x by itself. So the first step to do that is we're just going to subtract 6 from all three of these right here. So now we have negative 2 and we're taking away another 6, so that's going to give us a negative 8. And then that's going to be less than 4x plus 6 minus 6, the plus 6 and the minus 6 give us 0, so we're just left with 4x in the middle here. And then that's less than 2 minus 6. 2 minus 6 gives us a negative 4. And so now we just simply have to divide all three of these terms by a positive 4, so that way we can get x by itself here in the middle. So dividing each of these by a positive 4 now. So a negative 8 divided by a positive 4 is going to give us a negative 2. And that's less than 4 divided by 4 gives us 1. 1 times x is simply x, which is less than a negative 4 divided by a positive 4 is simply going to give us negative 1. So this right here is our solution to the above inequality. Let me just go ahead and write it up top here and then I'll move the board and I'll kind of explain what this solution means. Okay, so I've written that solution up here on the top now that we just came up with. And so basically what this means is we can choose any value for x that's between the numbers negative 2 and negative 1, plug it into this absolute value inequality and we'll produce a true statement. So let's just go ahead and plot this on a number line and kind of take a closer look. So let's say the number 0 is here on our number line, and this one can represent negative 1. And then over here we can represent the number negative 2. So that means for this solution, x can be anything greater than negative 2, so we'll kind of start right here, but it has to be less than the number negative 1. So that means we've got to kind of put that guy right there, and then it can be pretty much all this stuff in between. All of these numbers in between satisfy that condition. And just for an example, we could choose any number in between this range, and it would make this a true statement. So let's just go ahead and pick the number negative 1.5. So if we just say x equals negative 1.5, then that kind of lies right here, just right in the middle. Then basically what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into our x is here. So 4 times a negative 1.5 is going to give us a negative 6. So this right here turns to a negative 6, and then we add that to 6. So a negative 6 and a positive 6 give us 0. The absolute value of 0 is simply 0, and 0 is less than 2. So it was just an example there that you can just pick something in that range, and you would produce a true statement. By picking x equals negative 1.5, we produce the true statement of 0 is less than 2. So basically, if you were to pick something outside of this range, either over here or over here, and you were to try to plug that value into where x is, you would produce a false statement. So that's basically the idea of the solution. That's what it means. You have this little range of values that you can choose from, and you can choose any of these values in that range, plug them in for x, solve, and you will produce a true statement. 
So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have an excellent day. Stay tuned for the next example in absolute value inequalities. And we'll see you guys next time. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.